Hello! Welcome to another edition of Eatsy News, your roundup of everything I've seen and remembered to talk about this week. If I've forgotten anything, don't forget to leave the hate or love in the comments. And I've got quite a bit this week, so let's get into it. And it never works when I first hit that button. Okay. For the past couple of weeks, we've been looking at what the brand new shops are in 2024 that are selling really well. So we talked about the number one and number two have stayed the same this week. But I wanted to look at the number three Etsy shop that just opened in 2023. So Creative Mama Crochet is 21 days old and wait for it, has 496 sales. And um, what I wanted to share about this one, which I think is cool and hopeful for the rest of us, is they sell crochet patterns. Now, crochet is still huge, um, but it is good that there is so much interest because that is crafters wanting to buy things. This is basically a, a supply shop. It's supplying patterns. Now, I did see if you're watching Creative Mama Crochet, um, I did see some Grinch ones up there and stuff. So watch out for trademarked designs. You you might get into trouble for things like that, but looks like you know what you're doing. I really hope we found a legit shop. We know how how much of a struggle all these things are, but looks cute. Crochet, I've just ordered. I've just bought a crochet pattern and ordered some hooks. Um, not for this. You'll maybe see at some point what I've made, but 21 days old, 496 sales for a shop that's for crafters. Um, I do think the number of listings they've got up so quickly and stuff, this is obviously something they've been working on <laughs> for a while. <coughs> If they create these patterns themselves, hopefully they do. This will have taken a good while to do, but it's however they run their shop. It is positive for us handmade people that there are definitely people who like handmade stuff. People who like crafting are still coming to eat. See, that's that's my take. You might have a different opinion. Um, I thought I'd. Throw up this. This is the Etsy share price. People worry about this. Um, I did wonder if the announcement that Etsy is going to advertise on the Super Bowl would have made a difference to the share price. Mm, it's hard to say. The share price is all over the place. I've put up the three months because people will put up like a one month share price or something and go, look, look, it's dropping. Three months ago, it was lower than it is just now. You know, five years ago, it was lower. Two years ago, it was higher. That's what share prices do. Is it low? Yes. Um, it's not. It's lower than when I bought it. Um, it's not the most amazing, but it's we're no way down to a penny stock it's he's still holding in there there is talk that when the super bowl ad comes out we might see an up uptick um i think we are soon month or two probably a couple of months pr probably a month away from the quarterly financial results which who knows what direction that'll take but hey um the quarter three financial results for Etsy were pretty bad um, in terms of what shareholders will think. And look, over the end of the year, the share price went up a teeny bit. So it's had a wee dip. Don't freak out. That's, I don't know, people worry about this. So um, Talk Shop, we talked about him a couple of weeks ago. We talked about him in the new year. He's released another video, which I would totally recommend having a look at. Um, top seller leaves Etsy. <coughs> so this is talking about before, like at the busiest time of the year, Etsy shut down his shop for a really silly reason. <laughs> um, because he's got several shops, as many people who have old established shops we we have some in the background that look we're crafty people we want to do more than one thing we have ideas we open a shop for whatever reason either it doesn't work it's too much work we don't enjoy it we can't be bothered making the thing that we were making yeah a million and one reasons we might just 
put it into vacation or turn, you know, step away from it and forget about it. So he'd done that, but there was a small $7 fee on that. Now, you see, this could be sorted if you would just let us have all of our shops in the one dashboard. We could switch between them and pay the fee, do everything, and you would be able to put on the one dashboard to say you owe a fee. But you don't do that. We have to have a separate account for every shop. Very annoying. Anyway, that's my little rant. So he had that, got in touch with with Etsy. Um, A lot of people came together to help him because this was absolutely silly. It's horrible when it happens to a small seller as well. But, you know, sadly, when you're a bit bigger, you can build up more momentum, get a bit of an audience behind you. So people were able to come out and go, oi, Etsy, fix this. And Etsy did. Or did they? Because his shop got shut down again. I think it got shut down twice more since, even though Etsy told him everything's okay. And he came up with a theory from his brother, who's I'm sure it was his brother, brother in law, who's in knowledgeable on these type of things. And I have to say, I really agree because this follows a pattern that we've all seen, but I've thought this as well, but he said it out loud first. So you want to go over there and listen, but it is basically, and okay, Etsy customer support staff are the bottom of the food chain. It's not their fault. They've just been hired in. We complained. We all wanted customer support. We wanted lots of it. So what happens? You hire in new people, you pay them. They're probably the least paid people or some pretty low low paid people. And they can't be trained on everything to do with Etsy. They're possibly not even Etsy shop owners. So they have their scripts to deal with. They don't know everything. And it does seem to be very likely that when they're fixing issues, when they're able to do this, obviously this goes slightly higher up the food chain, but it's not going to a great person. So it seems that what happened was, yes, they reopened his shop, but without being able to go into the back end and go, the issue has been resolved system. So every time he was doing something new on his shop, the system was going, you're a, you're a terrible shop. You owe his money. So I'm shutting you down again. This is the theory. And what I want to say is I've seen this a lot. People will talk about say the amber jewelry issue which we're not entirely sure still because Etsy won't tell us what we're allowed to sell in terms of that but people had stuff that Etsy said yes this is absolutely okay so it would get shut down and they would contact Etsy and say that the listing would get shut down they'd contact Etsy and go hey is this okay Etsy would go yes absolutely you can sell that here we go it's relisted and then a few months later they would go to make a change maybe change the picture or it would sell and renew or something and it would get shut down again and they'd have to do this again so it does seem that there's something in the back end that Etsy the right people aren't going in and going oi this issue's actually fixed they're turning it back on, but without telling all the systems. So when something new happens, obviously, because this, my, my speculation here, like new shops are getting shut down, new and renewed listings seem to be getting flagged more. So it does make sense if there's some kind of automated system with Etsy, it's getting triggered. You know, it maybe rolls in and tries to look at all the listings that are out there, but more importantly, it's getting triggered. Like here's a new listing go and look at it. Here's something that's changed. Go and look at it. Absolutely makes sense. So this Etsy system goes, whoa, this shop's selling an amber thing. Shut it down. Need something in the back end. Needs the right person to be able to talk to the back end and say, this is whitelisted. This is okay. Anyway, that's that's my thought. Um, Talk shop. It's a good, it's a decent video, decent length. Go. He talks about a lot more in a lot more detail. I'm not going to give you his entire video. So pop over there. Um, yeah. Oh, yes. Um, this feels like it was weeks ago, but um, everyone was right. When talking about what Eatsy's big tease was, yeah, we knew they accidentally released the gift mode last Friday and then rolled it back a bit. Um, but yes, 
Itzy is talking about. It's not just gift mode and the Super Bowl is included. The Super Bowl adverts is included. So they said, we're kicking off a year long marketing campaign all about gifts. Now, I know this annoys some people who don't think their items can be giftable, but everything can be giftable one way or another, if you think about it. Um, so TV ad during the big game, um, the Super Bowl, that's the 11th of Feb, so it's actually closer um, than 100 million viewers tune in. So, yeah, it's, it is a good place to get in front of a lot of eyeballs if Eatsy make a good advert. Um, and they said, we want you to be part of this important moment. They shared an update to find out how you can get involved. So that's maybe worth, I think it's more likely, I forgot to click on that to have a look, but have a look if you want to get involved in, in the advert. Not sure what they're looking for. Let's look into it. Yeah. Um, and Etsy gift mode is a thing. We looked into it we talked about it last week. Um, I thought it still existed. I was right about to make a video on it, but had to wait a few days. As soon as Gift Mode came out again, I've had a look at it um, and there will be more. But if you haven't, check out that video um, if you don't know what I'm talking about with Gift Mode. Um, and part of that as well is Eatsy's doing a training. It might be an idea to jump in and have a look at that from the gift mode, from, from that thing that I just showed you in the forums. So go into the Eatsy forums and you'll find the links or there's the link across the bottom of my slide. Um, if you can find it, but there's some trainings. So Eatsy's got the 31st of January, that's Wednesday this week. Um, and Google SEO tips and photographing, optimizing your shop for gifting. So that first one in January, optimizing your shop for gifting might hopefully be a help for what are Etsy looking for to get into this gift mode. So it might well be worth joining in this virtual event. So I've signed up for it. Maybe you should. I will be taking notes. If there is anything super interesting, I will look at <clears throat> Um, I will look at making a video. Am I busy on Wednesday? I am now. Oh, I don't usually do this, but I thought, let me know if you want this at the end of my videos or towards the end of, of this Etsy news next week on YouTube, what I'm planning. And I just, I thought these were so pretty. Um, for your social media posts or for a bit of fun, because this I really enjoyed this. Um, but I'm going to show you how I used, how I drew these drawings. And you can do it too, because it's what I did was awful. I just did a sketch with a mouse and then created these wonderful things. And I think they could be really fun for social media. You know, a background to your social media posts doesn't have to just be landscapes, but I was just so happy with how these turned out. So yeah, so next week, I think this will be Monday or Tuesday, there will be a video coming up on how to create these wonderful images. It's very easy, don't be intimidated. Everyone can do it. And yeah, guys, if you do do it, share them with me. I really want to see what you create because th it could be a bit of fun. Um, we will also have, it's gonna ha if Wednesday's the 31st, it's going to have to be soon, maybe Monday or Tuesday, the other one. We're going to be doing our January planner thing, which is the first the first thing of what we're supposed to be doing for the next six months to get our shop ready. And that's looking at doing a bit of keyword research and don't be intimidated. It takes like five minutes, but it's the most important keyword research you can do for the year. So that video will be up. <clears throat> and tomorrow, no rest for the wicked. <laughs> tomorrow I'll do another dive into Etsy gift mode with what I've seen for the past few days and also answering your questions on that. Okay, anyway, I hope that helps. I hope you all enjoyed that and I will see you next time.